So hello everybody, it's Friday, so it's time for another Dax Friday, it's a new Dax function every Friday. And in today's Dax Fridays, I'm going to show you how to grab the last values that are not blank on a table. And there are some constraints there. I'll show you in just a second, so let's get started. Okay, first of all, I have not gone mad yet, at least. <laughs> I know it is Wednesday, but we're going to do part two of the vaccine tracker. And in here, we're going to do the modeling, and I'm going to show you the most complicated calculation. So I need to do this first before we actually do the visualizations. So I will do the visualization on Friday, and next Fridays will be today on Wednesday for this time. So what is the issue? Let me show you. If you've seen part one, you've already have a few familiarity with the with the data. If you haven't, don't worry, I'll show you. So I have here a table called vaccinations and contains the number of doses that have been given to people by location date. We have a column for fully vaccinate, vaccinated, a column for people vaccinated, which means people that have received at least one dose. And this is people fully vaccinated means they received all the, the doses that they are needed to get full coverage. And then I have a week and sort week date. I explained that on part one. Why? And I'll, we'll talk about it also more on Friday. You don't need to worry about that. So what we want to do, let me pick Israel here. You'll see that the data is accumulated. Okay, this is the same with the COVID data. Instead of giving you the increments per day, they give you the full data. So in order to do any type of calculation with this, we need to grab always the last value available. And there are some constraints in here, but before we go into the detail, we're going to do the modeling first. Otherwise, we won't be able to see anything. So let me do the modeling. If we go to the modeling pane, we're going to upgrade. Love the new model thing is it's just gorgeous and a, a lot easier to see actually so we're going to do the location location already has been detected and then i have a date to date beautiful then we're going to i have a calendar so i'm going to mark it as a date table so i'm going to tell power bi that the column date from the calendar is the one that it should be used for time intelligence because it contains continuous dates Easy busy. Okay, now um, week, I'm going to sort it by sort week. We will need that then on uh, Friday. I'm going to hide sort, sort week. I don't need it anymore. I don't need the date because I'm going to the calendar date. No, 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 not delete. <laughs> uh, hide. And location, I don't need it because we have a location table, which is the population table. So I'm going to hide it. You should grab it from here. Okay. And then from here, we're going to hide the sort stuff. I haven't sorted yet. You need to do that. But for now, I'm just going to hide them. So good. So now we have our model functioning and let's go back to what we need to do. So if we go here, Israel, you'll see that the, in order to be able to do calculations, we need to grab the last, for the last available date, the people that has been fully vaccinated. There are a few troubles though. The first one is that it's accumulated. The second one, let me show you in here. If you haven't seen part one, I'm going to tell you now that United Kingdom, the data comes in Wales, England, Scotland, and Gibraltar. So I didn't want to have it like that. I want to have it grouped by United Kingdom. So I replace the values. So it means that for every date, we're going to get four values, one for each of those locations. And uh, because of that, it means that to grab the last available fully vaccinated number, we cannot grab the max because if we grab the max for United Kingdom, we will grab it wrong. It will get this value only. We need to have actually the sum, which complicates things a little bit. You can say Ruth, you can actually go to Power Query and you can group it or you can group it here in DAX. Yes, but who remembers a coward? Nobody. We're here to learn, right? So we're going to leave it as is. And there's a third problem here and is that 
today is the 20th of January 2021. And if you saw from Israel, we had dates until the, so we had vaccination data available for today's date. For United Kingdom, we don't. And there are more countries like that. Most of the countries, the date available is for January 18th which means that we cannot grab the last date. So we cannot grab the last date. We cannot grab the max date, the max of fully vaccinated, and it is accumulated. So how do we do that? It's actually easier than you might think. But let me see, show you. If we grab date, I put United Kingdom in there. I put fully vaccinated. I'm going to show you this. Here you have the dates for the United Kingdom. If I put here date show items with no data, you will see that this is blank. So we cannot grab the max, right? Otherwise, it will give us, if we grab the max for the available dates, it will pick this one that's blank and we don't want that. How do we do it? How do we do it? Okay. For me, it helps to say it out loud. What is the thing that I'm trying to calculate? So I want to have the last non-blank. So the last value that is not blank, right? So this one is black. I don't want it. I want this one, right? And last non-blank, depending on how long you've been doing DAX, you may or may not know that there is actually a function that does this. There is actually two because it released last non-blank value. A few months ago, I did a video. I'm going to post the link down below. And uh, it is very, very useful. So let me show you. Vaccinations, we go here, new measure. Number of vaccines. Maybe we should say fully vaccine people, but. Um, last non-blank. Look at this. Last non-blank turns the last value in the column, so the value in the first part of the expression, for the expression on the second one that is not blank. But last non-blank value, it returns the last non-blank value of the expression. That's the one that I've always wanted to have. If you still don't fully grasp what this is, again, check the video for last not blank value, and I explain it I hopefully clearly with an example. This is the one that we want. So we want to go through the list of dates on our calendar and grab the last known blank value of fully people fully vaccinated and the summit, right? We couldn't get the max. We need to sum it because for England, sorry, for the United Kingdom, we need to add... England, Scotland, Wales, and Gibraltar. So, and now we're going to put it in here. And you're going to say, it didn't work. Well, I did a video last Friday titled, Why is Stuck So Hard? Where I explained that one measure will give you different results depending on the filters that are applied to it, depending on the context. And this is a perfect example again of that thing happening. What happens here? Is it giving us the last date? Yes or no? Yes. But it's giving us the last date for each row, right? And you might want that, you might not want that, depending on what you're trying to do. In this case, we don't. But if we put the same thing, the same calculation in a card, Isolated, so there's no date supply except for the last date. It will give us the right value, you see? 892, which is gorgeous. And now we are actually going to, you don't know this yet, but we are actually going to create a trend line for our visualization to by week. And watch this. If I put, let's put week number, it doesn't matter. I think actually. Let's see, week number, I have the weeks wrong. I, I realized that before. Let me show you, you will need to change that if you're following along and you did that for part one. That's why I'm not going to get rid of it because in the calendar, I'm having European weeks and this is not the European week. This is actually starting from uh, 
Sunday. I want. I don't want that. Day Monday. Okay, and then we need to do the same with the vaccinations where I grab that uh, date first and then is here where I have to put it. Day Monday. And put that one too. Day Monday. Meaning that our week starts on Monday because we're on week four actually, not on week five. You'll see it now. And then the, the numbers will match too. So here we have it. So week four, which is this week, Monday 18th is the last for um, England, United Kingdom, sorry. And then we have 892 for week three it will give us the last available number, which is uh, on Sunday, which is 883. You see that it matches too for week two. They give us the last one for Sunday, the previous week and so on and so forth. So it works beautifully. Again, it depends on the context that you put or the filters that are applied to your measure that you will get one result of the other. So just because you don't see right away the results that you want, it doesn't mean that it doesn't work. Just give them the right filters, okay? So that's all we need for today. We're going to do more measures on Friday, but they are very, very simple and they don't require me Dax Fridays for that. But I thought that this was a gorgeous example of you know, a something that sounded complex in the beginning while just I started thinking about it just with a simple last not blind function, I could actually find the right solution for it. So I hope the video was useful. Again, if you want to know more about last not blank and all the links are down below and part one is going to be linked here. I'll see you right for part three where we will do the visualization. So until then, take care and bye-bye.